good morning children welcome to the evs video class and today's our topic is chapter 5 my needs shelter children do you know what is shelter a shelter is a place to live or stay see shelter is a basic need of all human beings so where do we live our shelter is a house we live in a house a house is a place where we live with our family so why do we need to live in a house a, because a house keeps us and our belongings safe belongings means the things which we have for example at home we have many things like fridge tv computer then some ornaments money all these are our belongings so a house keeps us and our belongings safe then a house protects us from many things heat cold rain wind animals and things so we all need a house to live in it is one of our basic needs now we will learn about types of houses types of houses there are two types of houses one is pakka houses and the other one is kacha houses pakka houses we can see in cities and towns and these houses are made with bricks steel iron and cement and pakka houses are very strong and they last for long time so here are a few pakka houses pictures are given one is flat bangalore cottages these are all pakka houses and these houses are made with cement brick steel iron and all then flat what is a flat you must have seen many flats so what is a flat children a house in a multi story building is called a flat in chandrapura also you can see many flats so flat is a house in a multi story building then next is kacha houses kacha houses you can see in villages village people they do not have money to make pakka houses so what they do they make kacha houses using the things available there like mud straw bamboo leaves and sticks mud means wet soil and uh, straw means dried stems of some food grains especially wheat and rice so they use all these things to build these kacha houses and these houses are not very strong and they do not uh, last for long time now we will learn about different rooms in a house already this you learn in english literature first lesson lesson aisha's house so now once again i will explain the different rooms in a house first is drawing room we say drawing room living room sitting room so when some guest come we receive the guest in the drawing room we sit down talk with them in the drawing room next is bedroom we sleep and relax in the bedroom then kitchen kitchen we prepare our meals in the kitchen food is cooked in the kitchen then dining room we eat our meals in the dining room then bathroom we take bath and we do our washing everything in the bathroom take bath uh, brushing the teeth washing hands and face all these things we do in the bathroom then store room at home we have many things so in the store room we keep all the things 
So these are the six important rooms in a house: drawing room, bedroom, kitchen, dining room, bathroom, and storeroom. Next is good housekeeping. Means how to keep our house clean. So all of us like to live in a clean house. Not only inside, outside our of our house also should be clean. A dirty house and surroundings can breed germs. Breed germs means germs means a small living thing that can cause diseases. So breed means these germs uh, germs can grow very fast in dirty surroundings. So we should keep our house. and surroundings clean then gems make us fall sick rats cockroaches flies and mosquitoes breed in dirty places now we use different things to clean our house some of the things are broom dustpan mop and duster broom we use to sweep the floor dustpan we used to collect the dust and all the dirt waste and mop we used to mop the house and duster we used to dust the table chair dust everything so these are some of the things we used to clean the house then how can you keep your house clean children do you help your parents Yes, you can also do some cleaning work. Like put by your toys after playing with them. Then put away your books in their proper places after studying. Then do not litter the house. Do not litter the house means do not throw waste paper and other things here and there in the house. So where you should throw all the waste? You should throw the waste. net dust bin and what is a dust bin a dust bin is a container into which garbage and dust is thrown so we should throw all the waste in a dust bin and it must be covered our dust bins must be covered we should have two dust bins at home one for uh, dry waste and the other for uh, wet waste dry waste means paper pencil shavings all these things pieces of paper pencil shavings all those dry things wet waste means most of the uh, means kitchen waste from peels of vegetables peels of fruits they are all wet waste so keep two types of uh, dust bins now ways of decorating houses so how can we decorate our houses to decorate our houses we use different items like paintings wall hangings uh, then pictures and curios curios are small objects that uh, we display on the wall or in the showcase that uh, that is all small pieces of art means so show pieces like so we can decorate our houses using paintings wall hangings and some pictures so this is the way we keep our house keep our house clean and beautiful so children now you will come to the exercise part of the chapter and question answers we will discuss first one why do we need to live in a house we need to live in a house because it keeps us and our belongings safe then what is used to build a pakka house a pakka house is made of bricks steel iron and cement so bricks steel iron and cement are used to build a pakka house what is a kacha house what is a kacha house a house made of mud straw bamboo leaves 
and sticks is called a kacha house. Then how can you keep your house clean? We can keep our house clean by sweeping and mopping. Then how many rooms do you have in your house? So that you uh, count the number of rooms in your house and you can write the answer like this. I have five rooms in my house. I have six rooms in my house. I have four rooms in my house. That you count the rooms in your house and you write the answers. Now there is one picture in page number 27. You join all the doors. Uh, one, two, three like that. Then you will get the picture of a house and you can color it. Okay children, now read the lesson and read the chapter and learn the question answers. Thank you.